800 hours this morning, an event of extreme importance took place. Private Fiddlehead was taken by a mysterious figure. Mary, Mary, don't you know me? Oh wait, no, that's on my... To recover Private Fiddlehead, the FBI has set the best operative known on the case, Lieutenant Fern. Her mission, which she has accepted, is saving Private Fiddlehead. I told them to bring her five minutes ago. Moss Association. But I shall go boldly where no fern, well, where only one fern has ever gone before. But that was, that was because they were taken, so it doesn't really count. non-vascular plant, meaning I have no vascular tissue to absorb water and nutrients. I'm small, under one inch, but I produce spores and not seeds. I'm from the phylum Bryophyta, the largest of the phylums for non-vascular plants, making me true moss. live in a variety of climates, but I prefer the tundra. It's plenty of moisture because of ice and snow, okay, so I like moisture. I can grow in more temperate areas, velvety clumps, or like carpets on rocks and trees, logs, no, not trees, logs, logs near moisture, moisture, sources of moisture. I have a leafy shoot that's about three centimeters long, 
and transmits water between the densely packed cells. Kind of like a paper towel absorbs water. On the bottom of these leafy shoots are rhizoids. They're not roots, even though they may seem like it, but they're used for anchorage to keep the moss from falling. I usually absorb water and minerals through the leafy shoot, but this means that I can dry out really, really easily. I have both the male and female reproductive structure on the end of the leafy shoot. Since my leafy shoot produces gametes, this stage in the life cycle is called gametophyte. The male gametophyte bears antheridia, a sac-like structure that produces sperm. The female gametophyte can have one or more vase-like structures called an archegonia, which contains the ovum. To reproduce, water must touch the tip of the antheridia, which releases the sperms. Water then touches the tip of the argonia, which releases a chemical that makes the sperm swim toward the ovum. After the ovum is fertilized, a stalk grows out of the female gametophyte with a capsule with, with a capsule on the top. This stage is called sporophyte, since spores are produced in the capsule. When the environment conditions are ripe, the capsule comes off and natural sources like the wind and water distribute the released spores. I believe that's all I need to know. Now, I've got to make a plan, because I love it when a plan comes together. Five people unfriended me on Mossagram, but I have to still figure out how to best destroy Fiddlehead. I think I'm going to review what I know about them. They do have vascular tissues, meaning they do grow a bit taller than mosses. Ferns can either grow while they swine on water or grow in pots, and some can grow on other plants without being parasitic. I think this is called epitates. Hmm. Yes, that's right, epitates. They're usually in phylum pedropida and have fonts, which are like their leaves. They also have an underground stem called rhizomes that are called produced root. Mm, they grow in clumps produced by single rhizome and rhizome produce new clumps of essentially. Mm, what else? Oh yes, reproduction. Sorry can form on bottom of fonts and actually a collection of spores. Sporing thing. When the pottery spores are released, they're carried by wind. When the environmental conditions are perfect, ferns for germans and from little heart shaped toddlers, which are one cell layer thick, eventually form rhizomes. So the ferns can grow by producing male and females. Actually, the process is the same as it is for moss, where the sperm swim to the ovum. The zygote send the first leaf up and first root down. The first leaf of fern is a fan shaped blade, but the second is fiddle head. A coiled leaf. Some ferns have either larger leaves because of fiddle head produced, and some wild curled. Some humans even use those leaves in salad. Salad? Although I hate fern, but that's just, that's most wonderful idea. Girl, girl, bring in fiddle head! No problem, so 
children, if there's one thing I can teach you, is that it's all about timing. Timing! Don't forget that. Cool. So, what did you shoot Lord Moss with? A dehydration gun. No! Let's go home, soldier. Live long and prosper, Lord Moss. Oh, wait. No, you won't. You will take my first, but you can never take my...